what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're going to be checking out the walking dead season 8 episode 3 we are here today i'm doing all of these in i'm doing a bunch of these in one session so don't mind me and my hoodie because i know you're probably watching this on a separate day because i've been pre-recording the walking dead okay so that I won't have to be stressing to put episodes out, so I'm going to be uploading probably one episode a day. Sometimes you're going to get two per day, but I'm going to start doing that, pre-recording my stuff so that you guys can have episodes to watch. And I will have stuff scheduled on the channel every day for you guys to have. And I can tell you when it's going to come out and all this good stuff. So if you're watching this intro, you will know that information. If you're just clicking off not particularly loving you right now i'm gonna be honest you guys should watch my intros and my reviews okay stop coming to the video and clicking off <laughs> even though you're not watching this right now but anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys for all you guys everything that you do on this channel man i appreciate you guys but yeah episode two was a blast it was a blast more of you know invading off the compounds we have King Ezekiel is about to attack another compound. They know they're there, so they're prepared for them. Um, didn't get an update on Gabriel and Negan. Um, but we did get an update on what Rick and Daryl is up to. They're looking for the guns on the top floor of one of the compounds. And um, Rick ran into an old friend, Mr. Morales right mr morales um from back in season one when he left his family i remember them so i want to see what that how that conversation is going to ensue with him having a gun um pointed at rick if they're going to get into a tussle what is going to happen so i'm looking forward to that as i said my intros are going to be very short that's why you should watch them to hear what i have to say before we jump into the episode anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all and i will see you guys for the review Yeah, I knew it, man. Everything was just going way too well, bro. For them, for Ezekiel, them. Everything was just going way too well for them. They're not losing anyone. You know what I'm saying? And now it looks like they just, like, three, four dudes just got shot up. <sighs> this series, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we just finished Season 8, Episode 3. And I have to say, man, the tension is still there. And Daryl ain't playing no games out here, bro. Like, I think if he gets back to the hilltop, all them prisoners, they, they, getting, they getting dropped one by one. Daryl don't care about executing people because he's like, yo, they killed Glenn. They killed Abraham. They killed, um, what's her name again? I can't remember her name that kicked off all that stuff that happened in season six. It's just crazy. You know what I mean? Like, Daryl is on that. He's on that Rick shit. And Rick is kind of trying to balance his morality right now. But Daryl is on, you know what I'm saying? He's changed for the worse ever since. I think he's been different ever since Beth died. I think that kind of changed him a, a little bit. Uh, but it's just been turned up to like a thousand now. Because of everything, been losing people, he's been like, yo, he's like, yo, I'm not letting anybody else in my family die. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I have to do. All y'all dudes that have been doing all this shit, y'all going to die because it's either y'all, it's, it's you or me. It's you or my family right now. And I respect that. I respect that. But at the same time, I don't want, I, that's the thing, like, there's so much conflicting morality is in this story whereas in if you were in the same position would you be would you do the same thing would things happen that would change you you know what i'm saying you you see what happens to morgan you see what's happening to daryl you see what has happened to rick rick trying to come back around to being you know some somewhat more balanced you've seen how things have changed them over the season and that's why i said that i can't bash them for the writing because the character development in the walking dead is absolutely superb i love it except for certain people it's not to be named but 
there is the the solid characters that we've been known from season one season two you know what i mean they've just stayed so solid in this series and i have to say man impressive 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 i am impressed you know so i have to say that but i absolutely adore what they're doing with the series right now three episodes in and i still don't see a problem with this season you know it's all out war there's gonna be caught casualties you know they they know now where the m2s and stuff is when the, the armory they sent out um so i don't know if that's where king ezekiel and carol is um hopefully that it is that hopefully that's where it actually is you know that would be cool um so i'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do moving forward during this season because um right now it's just all out war and there's this morality you know back and forth that we're that we're challenged with as the audience and these things are being asked and we have to answer them will maggie put them in the trailer i don't know you know what i'm saying i don't know because you're gonna have to feed these dudes you're gonna have to feed them if you're bringing them on as prisoners you're gonna have to feed them so i know jesus has the the best of intentions right now but is it the best situation to be in right now these guys you know if if you you spear them they take up arms against you again you know you know you know it's just like what morgan is saying like are you do you think they're going to change you know what i'm saying like you think they're going you know not run away and you know what i mean so it's like oh lock him up until it's over it's a good idea but i don't know this might come back to bite them in the ass so i don't know what to say i really don't know what to say right now um as in or to make a prediction about what's going to happen all i know is carol better be okay <laughs> carol better be okay she better come out of this okay you know what i mean so um i'm happy that you know we didn't lose anybody major you know eric was it, it is what it is like he's a casualty of war at this point so you know i don't feel bad because i didn't really ha i didn't grow to like his character he barely appeared in any episodes really he just showed up and then he's off the screen we know he was with Aaron now if Aaron had died it would have had more impact on me because you know he's been around since I think it's like season four I want to say he's been around for a while now so um so yeah maybe not that early but he's been around for a while enough for me to get to know his character and some a sort of attachment to his character you know what I mean so um, I appreciate what they're trying to do for this season so far. I'm yet to be having any problems with it, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment on this video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. There's more Walking Dead to come. I appreciate you guys. As always, gratitude is never enough, man. I don't know. what. Why did I just do that? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys. See you guys later, man. Tear everybody out. Peace.